Before we start, let's see how JAWS reads a document with text boxes. Heading level 1 How to create accessible text boxes Text box text box 1 Graphic text box is a useful way to create emphasis in your document. Graphic, visually, they draw attention to a particular section of text, letting the reader know that it has special importance. Although a screen reader is not looking for the visual aspects of the text, you do still want blind users to hear the text that is being presented. Unfortunately, screen readers do not recognize text boxes automatically. It is better to use borders and shading. By doing this, you can create the same visual effect but in a way that a screen reader can recognize. This video will show you how to create accessible text box effects in Microsoft Word. I have a document here which uses a text box. I've used the text box to create a visual effect. I want the reader to pay special attention to the words that are in it. However, a text box is not accessible to screen readers. By default, a screen reader won't even know it is there. So let's look at how we can create a similar effect, but without using a text box. First of all, I am going to copy the text that I want. So I'm going to use Control C to copy. I'm going to move my text box down to the bottom for now. And I want my text here. So how do I make that look like it's in a text box? To make it look like a text box, I'm going to check that I'm in the home menu. I'm going to go to borders and shading. It's in the paragraph section of the home ribbon. I'm going to go right to the bottom of the drop down menu and select borders and shading. If I was using a keyboard, I would use Alt, H for home menu, and B for borders and shading, and then O to open the borders and shading pop up. So first of all, I want to create a text box. I want a box. I want the color of my box to be purple. And I want the width to be three points. In the options section, I can add in space at the top and bottom of my text box. So I'm going to create 18 points of spacing at the top and at the bottom. The left and right don't really matter so much because I've got my text centered. Now I'm going to go to shading. I want some background shading for my text box and the color that I used for the text box is actually already there. And I'll click OK. So now I'm nearly there but my text box is taking up the whole of the page and I only really want it to be a little section in the middle. So now I want to, to make my text box more of the same size as it was before. To do that, I'm going into the layout menu. I could click on layout or using my keyboard, I can hit Alt and P. And I want to add some left and right indent. To my text but first of all I'm just going to make sure that I have got this highlighted. So I'm going to add some indentation until it matches my original text box. I think that's probably about right. I can see that it's three centimeters of indent that I've added so I'm going to just do the same here. So now I'm going to go down to my old text box and delete it. Let's have a look at my page. So now I've got a text box effect, but a screen reader will read it correctly. Heading level one, how to create accessible text boxes. Text boxes are a useful way to create emphasis in your document. Visually, they draw attention to a particular section of text letting the reader know that it has special importance. Text boxes in Word are not accessible. Use borders and shading instead. 
Although a screen reader is not looking for the visual aspects of the text, you do still want blind users to hear the text that is being presented. Unfortunately, screen readers do not recognize text boxes automatically. It is better to use borders and shading. By doing this, you can create the same visual effect but in a way that a screen reader can recognize.